Hey there, it's Victoria. Today we are going to talk about shopping and not about what trends that you could potentially buy right now to elevate your fall wardrobe, but instead how you can avoid buying the same things over and over again and really start to be more conscientious and more intentional to create a wardrobe that works for you today. If you're new to me, my name is Victoria Baird and I help women curate a wardrobe and a lifestyle that really aligns with the woman they are today. So today's video actually has come in regards to two conversations that I had last week. One was from a client who sent an email saying how great it was when she went shopping after a session because she knew exactly what she needed to get. So it was so much easier for her. The second woman was from a group conversation I was having online who said, you know, every time I go shopping, I get home and I end up realizing that I bought stuff that's very similar to the stuff I already have. And so I still feel like I have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. So how can we stop that from happening? And the first part, and I bet you you're going to see this right off the bat from what I just said, was to go in with a plan. So think about it. When we go grocery shopping, we go with a list, right? As we use things up in our household, we write it down on a little list. And so then the next time we go grocery shopping, we're replenishing it. The same kind of thing should be happening in your wardrobe. And the best time to kind of evaluate what you need in your wardrobe is right after an edit or a closet cleanup. So I highly recommend uh, several videos ago, like not too far back, but if you go down a few videos, you're going to see a video called The Art of Decluttering. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to do it yourself to check out this video where I give lots of tips on how to do a good declutter. If not, you know, reach out to a professional such as myself who will help you do a really good closet cleanup, fall edit, and help you understand what you could potentially buy to elevate your wardrobe. So once you've got the decluttering done, then determine looking at your lifestyle and your wardrobe, where are there some holes? Now, many of us, myself included, my lifestyle has changed significantly in, you know, in the last six to eight months, and I bet you yours has too. So it's a really good starting point to see how has my lifestyle changed? What items do I have in my wardrobe that support my lifestyle? What items could I use to help expand it, infuse it with some new uh, fall colors and trends? You know, so for myself, for example, since uh, I'm pointing backwards because it's all about my wallpaper. Since um, April, we redid my office. So this wallpaper is very bold and busy. And I noticed right away when I started doing Zoom virtual meetings and stuff that I had very little in my closet that really helped me pop from the background, which is really what I want to have happen. I don't want to blur into it. I don't want to make it more busy for anybody else. So I knew that I had to start looking for pieces that were a little bit more vibrant to help that happen. Um, the other thing I want you to consider is the sale items. You know, the retailers are smart and I love a good sale, just like everybody else. I also happen to love thrifting, but it's not a good purchase if it's just going to sit in your closet. Okay. So we, so it's so easy to get caught up and get excited about a sale, but ask yourself, you know, a, is this going to fill the gaps in my wardrobe that I need? Does it fit me really well? Is it the right coloring? Um, all those great things. And maybe even ask yourself, would I have paid full price for this? You know, I think it's those pieces in particular that we get caught up in the sales where we come home and we end up with one-offs, meaning we get home with it and we don't know how to work with it in our closet, or it's not quite the right color, so it doesn't go with anything in our closet. And it's not so great when we get those items home and then we can't work with them. And so a sale is great. Absolutely. Again, I love a good sale, but you can have lots and lots and lots of good sale pieces in your wardrobe that aren't being worn because they just don't work with it. So it's about making a plan, having some sort of a budget. 
I actually love working with a budget just because it helps me decide sometimes. And I always though, always leave room, wiggle room for something that might just grab my attention that is gonna immediately add some impact to an outfit. A jacket, a really cool handbag, a pair of cool shoes. Those pieces that can really add impact to a very basic wardrobe, I'm gonna say, are key pieces to sometimes look for on sale. So those are my tips for you today to help you start shopping and filling the gaps in your wardrobe with things that are really gonna expand it and elevate it and allow you to open up your closet and get excited and get inspired in the morning. Please feel free to share with me uh, some ideas down below or some questions that you may have. I'd love to engage with you. And also you can find me at victoriabear.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.